Fernando, thanks for the time. Uh, Eric Karros mentioned right away to you that he was playing first base the day that your pop hit two grand slams in one inning. Your reaction to that? <laughs> that was great, man. I don't know if I'm happy for him or I don't know, I feel a little bit sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the funny thing was is you, you told me, you said, yeah, you got to enjoy that, didn't you? I said, I don't, I don't know if I enjoyed it, but, man, it was, it was something awesome. <laughs> it is. Fernando, give us just a quick sense, you know, first things first, for those who haven't gotten a chance to see you guys play, to see you, Manny, the, this this really impressive roster go at it. What's been the best part, the most exciting part for you to experience this? Man, we're having a great time over here. We're building something fun, and the boys are playing with passion. I think that's a big part. And we're just feeding one from each other, man. And we're about to just on the same train track over here. Fernando, you know, I'm watching you all the time, and it's... It really is amazing. As a former player, I'm, I'm in awe of what you can do. Is there something that you're, you're not good at or something that you want to work on to become better at? Oh, man, this game is tough. This game is tough. I feel like you got to improve every single day and every single area. And just keep getting better. Tell us about You know how you know this game is. One day you can be the best player, and the other day you can be one of the worst. So you just got to keep humbling yourself to stay yourself ready on the field. Go, let's go. Get your grandma over here. We got a chance to watch a little bit of Chris's last start. He looked really sharp. The fastball looked good. What's it like playing behind Chris Paddock when he's at his best? Man, even when he's not at his best, it's a pleasure to be playing on his back, man. Because that guy is going to attack the zone. He's going to keep you in the game. And I feel like that's huge for every infielder, for every player playing defense for him. Piscotti with a leadoff single. Here's Vimael Machine. Kind of walk us through how you approach these situations. You're kind of pinched up for a, for a potential ground ball and a double play. How do you approach these spots defensively? Uh, I'm just kind of feeling myself of how, how Patty is pitching, how he's it, landing his pitches. And like from that, I just guide myself. Okay, está bien. From that, I'm just guiding myself of, of where I've got to position myself. If I need a, if I see a space, I got to fill up. And it is, you know, you see something, Anthony, you just got to fill it up. So it's a battle right here in the infield. See where Tatis is playing, close to the second base bag. Check back at first, and Piscotti's back in. Nothing in tune on Machine. Fernando, who who is the guy that when you got to the big late leagues, you couldn't wait to play against? Just because you, you were not in awe of him, but you you watched him as a kid, or you thought he was really great. <laughs> Man, most of the superstar I play against with, like you know, when I got up, I know my division. I was going to see Arenado. I was going to see a story. You know, a story is a, is a heck of a player. I, I couldn't wait to see, play against him. You know, I feel like it's a great competition, and just. You know, all around superstars, I came up just seeing them. Ay! Yeah. I don't want to see you see you guys! Fernando Tatis Jr., kind enough to put on a microphone and an earpiece and talk to us through here in this bottom half of the second inning. A 21 year old from the Dominican Republic. I got a good question for you. Who's got the best hair? You, Paddock, or Clevenger? Oh. That's a good question, but I go with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boy. We talked with uh, Chris the other day. It's like between you, you three guys, there's a significant level of flow and lettuce going on. So that's a solid. That's a solid. <laughs> it's good when you when you look good, you you play good. Man. All... <laughs> there's a payoff pitch. Look towards center and playable for Trent Grisham for the first out of uh, this frame. Piscotti heads back to first base. We're chatting with Fernando Tatis. Walk us a little bit through uh, last night as well. Uh, you know, you guys got going in the middle of the game. You were able to get a big double, a line drive that was hard hit, then the opposite field home run later in the game. Just how have you seen your at bats and how have you felt your at bats over the course of this season so far? Just consistency, man. That's all it's about. Uh, I'm trying to shrink the song a little bit more this year. Last year I was a little bit too wild. 
And just make an adjustment to every single pitcher, you know. Everybody make adjustments. Everybody make adjustments to everybody. Uh, that's too far. I'm not getting this. <laughs> a little bit too far for Fernando as Jonah Heim is at the plate in the ninth spot. Hey, you Fernando. feel good on, uh, by yourself, though, out there on the left side, right? When you guys run that chip with Machado into right, you feel pretty good playing yeah. the left side by yourself. Man, I got to move a lot. I got to move a lot when I'm over here by myself. Fernando, what's your favorite drill to do for hitting? to get ready for a game or just Call to get that. you right? Man, I like to setting up the screen close to me. Keep going, Bobby. And like uh, from a close distance, I'm trying a little bit hard so I can stay myself back and just see the ball travel. And just trying to get myself back into my back leg. That's, I feel like that's the big part for me. Fernando roaming at shortstop right now. He's by himself on the left side. We'll play with one out in the second and a 1 1 count on the nine hitter Heim. Athletics with a 2 0 advantage. Runner takes off. That one gets past Tatis and into center field. It will be a stolen base for Piscotti, and he's in a scoring position for the A's with one out here in the second. What's it been like for you guys? Yeah, I know you, you were just working with Austin Nola. We saw Luis Camposano make his debut last night. A lot of new faces, not a, a lot of new guys coming into this clubhouse. How have you guys managed that chemistry together? Man, we just invited, like, everybody saw. Keep going, keep going, come on, keep attacking. They saw the Bible over here. They saw what we were about and like, how we feed from each other. And this is. Everybody's playing for the team over here, you know, giving more at-bats to the guy behind you. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, sorry. That ball go, that back goes flying that, out right? of the hand of, of Jonah Heim. <laughs> we all had a similar reaction. It's all good. <laughs> Fernando, we sincerely, though, man, I know you're, you're in the midst of it right now. It's a strange scenario to toss you in, but I know fans appreciate it. We appreciate it as baseball fans. We appreciate you talking to us during this inning, man. Best of luck the rest of the way, all right? Thank you, Baba. Thank you.